soon as I get seized, I do some kind, some type of kick. Okay? If he's gonna punch me with that hand, I want to stop that side of his body. Does everybody see this anywhere in here where I hit him in the groin with my heel and then I push his other leg with my hand, the inside of my foot, that's gonna be fine. Now this hand is gonna come right over the top, so as soon as this one hits, this hand's gonna lock it to your chest. Okay, now you have to be kind of nice with this one. We're just gonna take our partner slightly off balance, okay? Now watch his upper body. I'm just gonna turn this to the side, okay, to get this to bend, and then I'm gonna bring this down this way, okay? So the first thing I do, as soon as he grabs, I'm gonna be here, kick, just to keep that other hip out of it, and then I'm gonna bend his elbow, lock this tight, and then go right against his wrist, you all right? Yes, sir, great, okay. it's good stretch. But that way I just get to break this, and that, that'll be a lot easier to get rid of this, so just lock it, tight against your body. This comes over to make a little Z out of his wrist, and then you drop straight down. Okay, so even if he grabs up on my shoulder a little more, I'm just gonna go up, grab, and then down to here, okay? So one more time, this comes over, lock it tight to your chest, just hold it there, and you're gonna turn your body like 45 degrees from him, and then make sure his elbow's bent, and then take that on towards the wrist, okay? Once I get to here, once this is like this, I'm gonna turn, and that way that open, opens all this up, and I'm just gonna grab, and I'm gonna pull his head, or pull his head out to the side, okay? So one more time, he grabs, and I'm just gonna grab here, start pulling his head out to the side, and then take him back. Nicely with your partner, one more time. Get him to go this way, and then turn. 